Hello there, let's verify our PayPal account right away. So first of all guys, if you don't have an account, if you want to create your account and verify that list just like right away, I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description so you can get up your account and you can actually get a few rewards just by signing up with the link provided down below in the description once again. So first of all, what you want to do is to go into those linked and hit into create your account. In my case, it's gonna be asking me for uh, signing up for PayPal. I want to add a mobile number in order to continue. So if this is not the country that you're currently living, you can change that for, let's say for example, the United States, and it's gonna be appearing the new code of my, of my mobile phone number. So after I do have that, I want to, um, just confirm that I'm not a robot, which is pretty annoying. And then I just need to paste my mobile number and hit into next. Once I have an account already created, what I want to do is to add a uh, an email. In my case, it just won't let me because uh, I already have an account. So I'm just going to be closing this for a second and I'm going to go back into my account. You'll be seeing something like this. So now that we have a PayPal account, you want to verify your account, you want to verify that it's totally you. Well, this is not like a verification process into your PayPal, but this actually on a specific verification is speaking about adding balances, currencies, bank cards, and credit and debit cards. So if you go into, uh, into the pay and get paid section, you want to go into the wallet and inside your wallet, you want to locate your balance and your bank card. If you don't see the dashboard as I'm seeing this at the moment, it's because your account might be individual. Now, if you want to some day you want to change from any bill into business, you want to go into the profile settings. And once you are in here, you want to locate, you want to scroll all your way down into the account type and you can change uh, from entry bill into business using the same account so you don't have to be worrying about that. So now we have the option to link bank and balance cards. What I want to find is the bank account option. Now, if I choose, for example, this bank that appears uh, right away, as you can see, I don't need to verify any kind of information. But if I do hit into the card section and add linked a new card, what's going to happen I is going to be asking me for a credit card number whether that will be from a debit or credit card, the card type, the expiration date, the security code, and of course the billing address. Once I clicked into linked a card, it's gonna be appearing at the very bottom part of our wallet, which as you can see, I have two cards already added in here. If I want to delete one of those, I just need to click into one, uh, one credit card, and then I'm gonna choose remove card. So what's going to happen is going to be asking me, are you sure you want to delete this account, uh, this credit card, any pending payments on this card will be processed even after you remove it. So I'm going to choose remove this card. So your new credit has been removed. All right, so good because I no longer have a card. So and if you want to add a new card, you can choose this option. And once again, it's going to be asking you for a debit card, card tax, expiration day, security code, and you can link to card. So. But the important part is that we want to verify this because as you can see, I have this credit card, right? But if I clicked here, uh, there's a notification here that says, want to use your PayPal account with no spending or withdrawal limit, confirm your card. This is just for verification for security reasons. So uh, it's gonna be really, really easy and there is not going to be any issues once I have confirmed my card. So what I want to do, is to go into confirm your card. And what's gonna happen is that they're gonna be sending us in a small amount uh, a charge on our card. After you request a code, we will charge 20 MXN. So that will be like just $1 into, our, into my card. So this appears within four to six business days. After you confirm it, we will refund the amount within 24 hours. So they're just making this charge only for verification processes stuff. So if you go into the statement of your credit card, of your sample card, let's say there's been a credit a charge for PayPal and it's gonna be appearing like this. PayPal 
this number, the code, and the amount that was uh, charged from your credit card. So you want to provide this number, so I say code, and you want to choose uh, send a code. In my case, I haven't done that yet. I just need to choose get a code. And now it should appear in your card statement within four, six business days. If I hit into done, the last thing that I just need to do is to check my car statement code um, just to see if I already have like a chart from PayPal. Once I have that chart from PayPal, I can see what the secret code that appears into my bank statement. Hit into the uh, update card, uh, enter the code to confirm your card, which is actually this option. And once you choose this option, you have to provide the full digit code and go into confirmed. And it should be just as simple as that. If you now, if there's a week that that has been already passed since this day that you created the confirmation of your card and you haven't received the 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 code from your bank statement, you want to check into all your data. After you review that this is the actual right information, you want to click into enter the code to confirm your card and look for the get a new code. So this way can be sending us once again the code send it from our credit card. In my case is only Visa. So actually as you can see it was really really simple just to add a credit card. It's really important to verify your card, uh, all your stuff if you want to receive money, if you want to still use PayPal because sometimes it appears like PayPal has this different um, rules that if you don't do as they say they might be just deleting your account because PayPal uh, sometimes they take the security really really seriously so you don't want to miss that you want to just have everything um, corrected and with no issues there and lastly guys if you go into your balance and you have a few balance and you want to transfer that money into your credit card, into the credit card that you have already added. You don't have to be worrying about that because the balance is going to be uh, sent right away into your account, into the um, into the actual PayPal account that you currently have, which is actually in my case is this one. But I don't have to be worrying about any kind holdings of my money and all that. Now, uh, actually, I've just checked out that I do have now the charge from my bank account. So I'm going to be doing this right away so you can see what's going to happen next. I want to go into my wallet, into my bank and cards. And once you am in here, once you locate confirm your card, and here I'm going to go into enter the code to confirm your card. And I need to provide the full data code. And here is my Visa credit card has been confirmed. I need to go into done and we are actually good to go. So I can choose to set as preferred if I want to receive to get charged from all my charges from all my paying online using this credit card. In my case, I just won't do that right away because I want to be charged with my with my money that I do have into PayPal. So uh, this has been set up correctly. Now I can just exit in here and we are good to go. So hopefully guys, it was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this PayPal setting tools. Um, thank you so much for watching this video once again. And I will see you next time. Good luck.